Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel, Dayton Squad. So on today's video is actually good news. Is this really the light at the end of the tunnel that we have been waiting for? Details coming right up. So this has been all over the internet yesterday. I know there are some vloggers that have uh, made a video on this already. I wasn't able to make a video right away because I was updating the latest post from the Bureau of Immigration. So finally today we are going to talk about this somewhat good news that the Philippine government is formulating, particularly the Department of Tourism that they want Green Lane for foreigners that are fully vaccinated already. So I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Let's go over the details of this great news. The Department of Tourism has proposed to the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases the setting up of a green lane that would facilitate the entry of fully vaccinated foreign visitors to the Philippines as part of government efforts to, to reopen the economy. The Green Lane will pave the way for the reopening of our tourist destinations to leisure travelers who are now fully vaccinated. It will give the jobs back to many of our tourism workers and gradually revive the tourism industry under safe conditions. Tourism Secretary Bernadette Romulo Puyat said in a statement Friday. The proposal came after the IATF tasked the DOT and several other government agencies to explore protocols for inbound international travel for fully vaccinated individuals. Once approved, the DOT said this initiative would allow qualified travelers to visit the country for leisure as quarantine rules are being relaxed with the progress of the vaccination worldwide. So this is actually good news to everyone, especially to those travelers who have been fully vaccinated already. We all know all over the world has been doing the rollout on vaccination for COVID-19 and Philippines has been doing this also for the past two months on rolling out for COVID-19 vaccine per category. In the U.S., most of the people there are fully vaccinated also. So now the Philippines, particularly the Department of Tourism, is proposing to the IATF. IATF is the COVID-19 agency that recommends what to do next, that recommends what the travel restriction is, that recommends if the country will still close or the country will reopen now and all that stuff. So the DOT or the Department of Tourism sent their proposal to the IATF to set up a green lane for vaccinated foreigners. So is this really what we all been waiting for? That foreign tourists will be welcome back to the Philippines, especially if you are fully vaccinated. So let's see how this proposal goes with the Department of Tourism and hopefully the IATF will approve it. But I won't hold my breath on that yet because like I mentioned, this is just a proposal. Not time to celebrate yet. Let's wait and I will definitely keep you guys posted if this proposal progresses and hopefully it will. That way some tourists, especially those who are in relationship with a Filipino national here who plans on getting married before the pandemic hits, then they can finally come over and marry the love of their life. So like I mentioned, I will keep you guys posted on the progress of this proposal from the Department of Tourism to the IATF. 
Headed by the DOT and the Department of Foreign Affairs, a small group, SWG, has been formed to evaluate the possibility of implementing green lanes and formulate related protocols. The SWG also includes the Bureau of Quarantine under the Department of Health, the Bureau of Immigration, the Department of Information and Communications Technology, the Department of Transportation, the Office of the Presidential Advisor on the Peace Process, the Overseas Workers Welfare Administration, and the Department of Trade and Industry. With several countries opening up their major destinations to fully vaccinated foreign travelers, Romulo Puyat said we must keep pace with our neighbors and the rest of the world in slowly reopening our tourist destinations. She added that the Philippines should be ready for visitors when the time comes that the world is ready for international travel once again. If you guys have been following this channel, I have posted an update in our community on those countries that are now open for tourism for fully vaccinated traveler. In the U.S., CDC said to those who are fully vaccinated with COVID-19 already need not to wear masks anymore. So slowly we are going back to normal like we used to because of the COVID-19 vaccination rollout. And the Philippines doesn't want to be behind with all this update and the reopening of tourism with the neighboring countries in the world. So the Philippines don't want to be behind on that. So the Department of Tourism sent a proposal to the IATF for a green lane for fully vaccinated foreigners and hopefully tourism will reopen once more with this proposal. Like I mentioned earlier, I will keep you guys posted how this progress if this gets approved and this gets implemented, for sure when this gets approved and when this gets implemented, they will be posting a guideline to those fully vaccinated foreigners to be welcome again in the country, the Philippines. I know there are several proposals that the DOT has made before but was turned down. So what do you think of this new proposal again from the Department of Tourism for fully vaccinated foreigners? or travelers to the Philippines. What do you think? Is this going to be approved or this will be up for debate? I want to hear your opinion about this. What do you think? So is it really the time to open up the country once more? I would be gladly welcome them back to the Philippines because I know how hard it is to be on a long distance relationship because they are the most affected category because of this pandemic. So we will see how this proposal goes. So this is our quick update for today guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family whom you know that can use this video as reference. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We do travel updates and if you are not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified on updates like this. And to our subscribers and new subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for the continued support and trust to our channel Dayton Squad. I hope to see you guys on our next travel update. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone. Bye.